If you've never built a bridge before, it's best to start with Lego. Fast build that you want. Yes, fast build, OK. okay. On your marks, get set, go. As an army, we need to pass from the one side of into another side with a lot of ammunition or lots of kids, which helps to the war, win the war. This is the, yeah, this is the enemy side. Enemy side. Uh, so let's suppose that uh, we need to cross our armor vehicle from there to here. So we basically call this side or enemy side. They even have Lego versions of the tools they'll need. The first real bridge the sappers get to build is a five-bay medium girder overbridge, which is used over weak ground so it can take more weight. They'll then progress to a five-bay medium girder bridge without the over for crossing wet and dry gaps, then an IAB, infantry assault bridge, before the ultimate 12-bay double-storey medium girder bridge. I was beginning to feel I knew quite a lot about bridges, but then... How many different types of bridge are there? Uh, that's, it's called number, number 10, number 12, LSP, logistic support bridge. There's head scope, heavy girder bridge. BR90 and such and such, able bridge. I had no idea there were so many types of bridge. Yeah, there is quite a few, yeah. Yeah. Right, everyone. Good, right, get one minute break. Go and get some water, go. How important is speed in this? Speed? Um, I would say momentum, to be honest, in a separate way. It is crucial, because sometimes we have to meet the deadline, given deadline, in order to build the bridge. And they need to know what's coming next in a smooth and safest way, and the speed is important, to be honest. Yeah, and we've got yeah. to remember they might they would be doing this in yeah. a conflict situation under Pressure, pressure under yeah. fire sometimes. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So teamwork is really what it's all about. Teamwork, communication, they need to have a knowledge. Each and everyone should have knowledge what's going next. Turns out Corporal Zahada Magar has his own technique for motivating the young sappers. Small rest, followed by a reward. Biscuit maybe. A biscuit? Yeah. If they do it good enough. Yeah, they will I mean these sex and they have a really good healthy competition. If we if we tell them right, it's going to be competition. They really go for it in a healthy way. They want to make it a, a f as fast as they can. So you think they've the biscuit? Yeah. We need to open those, you know, crossing point as soon as possible. So we have to be very strict with the timings. So we shouldn't be like taking this whole day because the the rest of the, I mean, infantry battalions they will be waiting for us to open this gap. So that's kind of uh, the timing is quite critical for us. What are these bits that are going on now? Tell me. So now they are putting last final bit, which is called curve, that goes at the end. So as, as you can see, the actual width of the bridge is four meters. So and this will kind of additional additional support on the on, on the edge, just to give that we call it curve. So the vehicles don't fall off. Yes. Crucial. Crucial, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, every part is crucial, but yeah, yeah. We have to control the float uh, and the bridge module. Either it go, goes left or right during the process. So we have to just control with anchoring ropes. Uh, one uh, on either side, there will be two sappers controlling uh, controlling the float. Either so, uh, that one is a little bit hard. A little bit tricky. Yeah. Yeah. We have to utilize trick in that case. Slowly under control, boys. Slowly under control. It's slippery. Talking about the 12 bay MGV, it's very, we use the lots of components that is very very heavy. Heavy. Some of the are minimum of two men carry um, components, and some of them are six men. So we have to be very very care about it while during the lifting. We use the correct lifting procedure. So you must all be exhausted. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Under control, safely and slowly. After building five bridges in a day, the young engineers have surely earned their biscuit. Next time we see them, they'll be on the water, not crossing it, as they learn to drive boats. Hannah King, Forces News, in Minley.